the second part of the video for rooftops by Jesus Cult here. Now this has got a really cool strumming pattern. So before we focus on the chords, we're first going to see what this hand's going to do for the strumming. Now the rhythm pattern is on your PDF file and it should sound like this once it's working. Now, to break down what we're doing to explain that strumming pattern, it starts with a black arrow, down strum, and then you'll see there's three arrows in blue, which is going to go, followed by three in red, which also goes. Now, the only reason why I color-coded that is to show the repetition, because sometimes we look down and we see a whole lot of strumming patterns, a whole lot of arrows going up and down, and it looks quite daunting, but... If you look for the repetition, in other words, the blue is the same as the red. It sort of simplifies it a little bit. Now at the end there, you'll see it's got a double X, which is going to be a down-up, which is simply... So slow motion, black, blue, red, and there's the mute-mute. Super slow motion, again, just in case we didn't get that. Three and four and... Okay, so it's the black arrow, blue arrow, red arrows, and then the double mute. Okay, now we're going to focus onto the chords, but before we do that, I'm going to show how that rhythm works with the song, so you can know what to expect once it's working. And let's try and get both left and right and into the picture here. Put the track on, and let's do it. Okay. And as you can hear, the rhythm is consistent the whole way through. The rhythm doesn't change, the chords do. Now let's have a look at the chord shapes for starters. So we can learn, and I think there might be one or two new ones, like the C sharp minors and the F sharp minors. But opening with verse 1, C sharp minors starts with finger 1 across all four strings in the 4th fret. And then your ring finger number 3 comes onto the top string, the fourth string, fret number six, C sharp minor. It should sound like this. Okay. Now the change over to the B is actually quite a cool transition. All that really happens if we break it down is we simply slide this shape as a whole two frets down. So we were in fret four and six, we're now in two and four, and the middle finger is now included onto the third string, and we have B. Okay. And then for the A, we can also do this. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to play the A. But for this song, I think this A is arguably a little bit easier. You lose the first finger, and you simply slide fingers two and three down to what looks like a normal A. And this will also work, but if you're used to the traditional A with fingers 1 and 2 that I've probably shown you in the other videos, this is the traditional way, and normally I would do that, but because I'm coming from a bar chord format, C sharp minor, down to the B, to the A, this to me makes a lot more sense, because it's less hand movement, and in the second line you can see that from the A it comes back to the B, back to the C sharp minor, back to the B. So it's got basically a, a, a hint of repetition in the shape. It's either with the finger, without the finger, the C sharp minor without the middle, B with, the A, we don't need it anymore because it's the nut of here doing the job of the first finger, and then back. That's your verse. Want to try and play through with me? One and two and three and four and... And then three 
chorus is going to have the first change F sharp minor. Now you'll notice it quickly before we get to the pre-chorus. In the second line when I did the A, the pinky did a bit of a hop there. When I do the B, it's very easy to get the dampened sound that because all I do is relax the pressure. So normally my fingers are on like this. And if I relax the pressure, you can see I'm not lifting it off. That's not happening. I'm just relaxing. And I get that muted, which gives me those two little black X's at the end of your strumming pattern. For the A, I've got no control over the bottom strings, even when I relax. So what I do is I let the pinky lie across the string. So it's... And I get my muting quite nicely like that for the A. Okay, onto the pre-chorus. F sharp minor starts with finger one, third string, first fret, middle finger straight to the top, and the ring finger squeezes in there onto the second string, and your chord for F sharp minor is looking and sounding like that. Nice and easy. Back to C sharp minor. And the strumming is repetitive the whole way through, so I'm not going to play the entire song for you, because if you've got your rhythm pattern, if you've got, you're actually home dry, all you must do is learn the words, sing along with the backtrack, and then follow the chords as you're looking through the PDF file. Simple as that. Now the pre-chorus also introduces an E. Now E we've done in other videos, so if you've missed it because of the song choice, E is meant to be like this. Now fingers 2, 3 and 4 don't really like squeezing into fret 4 on strings 2, 3 and 4. So that, that, it's really, really quite a squeeze there and finger 1 has to be here. This is the traditional E chord. Now on the PDF you'll notice that I've colored the top on him, him in red. If you leave it out, E will also sound just as cool like this. So finger 1. String 1, fret 2, middle finger and ring finger on strings 3 and 2 in the 4th fret. The only catch is don't strum this top string. If you do, it's going to sound terrible. Not cool. So what I do is I hold it with the thumb over here. So my thumb is touching that string. So your 4th string can't sound. And it sounds really, really cool. Okay. And believe it or not, that's all we really need to know about rooftops. There are a few stops and starts. It's a really great song. It's nice new chord progressions, nice new techniques. So if you've got any questions regarding the song, drop me a WhatsApp. Looking forward to hearing from you. Otherwise, have an awesome day. Thank you.